Hey everyone and welcome to this companion video to my video on migrating email from your personal Gmail account to your Google Workspace account. The link to that video is in the description. This video is especially relevant if you've been using a gmail.com email address for a while to run your business and so clients might keep using it for a while even after you create a custom domain email address. Forwarding emails to your Google Workspace account means you can see those emails in the one spot and reply with your new custom email address. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I help small business owners with usable and practical advice for their Google Workspace setup. So let's get started. Some people ask, do I have to migrate my emails first or can I set up forwarding first? It doesn't matter to be honest, you can do these two things in either order. So before I start, I am assuming you've already set up a Google Workspace account with at least one user. And if you have, then you're not actually going to be using the admin console at all today. So go to your old Gmail account and click on settings, see all settings, and then click on forwarding and pop IMAP. From here, you're going to click on add a forwarding address, and then you're going to enter the Google Workspace account that you want to use. Click on next and then proceed. Of course, you'll now need to log in as the Google Workspace user to verify permission for those emails to be received at the other end. And that email will look something like Gmail forwarding confirmation. Once you've verified permissions in your Google Workspace account, come back to your other Gmail account and refresh the web page a few times until you see the forwarding section change. It should now look like this. Now, if you want all emails to be forwarded, all you have to do is click in forward a copy of incoming mail, select the email address, and then choose what you want to do with the original email. I usually choose to delete it as I don't need two copies and the free version of Gmail has a lot less space than Google Workspace. If you're happy with all that, scroll down and click on Save Changes. And that's it. All new emails to that Gmail address will be automatically forwarded to your Google Workspace account. As you can see here, an email that was sent to the gmail.com account has been automatically forwarded to the Google account. And yes, I may be overly cautious in hiding the full email address, but October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, so I'm just being very careful. Now that's great if you want all emails automatically forwarded, but that might not always be the case. If you only want some emails forwarded, then you're going to be using the filter option. In this situation, click on settings, see all settings. Here, disable forwarding and save changes so, so it doesn't automatically forward emails now. Click on show search options and then choose what you want to do here. So for example, you might want only want emails from certain senders or with certain keywords or even of a certain size forwarded to the new account. In this case, I'm going to say that only emails that have the keyword of Humpty will be forwarded. I'll create the filter and then click on forward it and my ad forwarding address. Then you can also choose what to do with the incoming email to a more nuanced degree than the general forwarding option. Do you want to label it, archive it, delete it, etc.? I'm going to label it with another label and then I'm going to mark it as red and archive it. And now I'm going to click on create filter. Now 
And there you go. We've got an email with the keyword of Humpty. It's turned up in my old Gmail account with the label of uh, another label. And if I go to my Google Workspace account, I can see that it's also arrived here with the keyword of Humpty. So I've sent two emails to this original Gmail account. One does not have the keyword of Humpty and it's turned up in my inbox. Another one did have the keyword of Humpty. It's been labeled and archived as per my filter. And there you go. Only one email has arrived in the Google Workspace account as it had the keyword Humpty in it, while the other email is still in the original Gmail account. And that's how you set up email forwarding. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was of assistance to you. And remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.